All right, so welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Precious Ubweze. And in this class, we are going to be looking at uh, basic operations involving sorts. All right, in our previous class, we already considered, you know, the definition of sorts and the um, rules of sort and other concepts, simplification of sorts, right? And whenever you define a concept of mathematics, one of the things you check for that is to know if you can perform the basic operations on that concept of mathematics. And so let's look at addition and subtraction of sorts. And so if you want to add and subtract sorts, now the first thing is to note that if you must actually simplify that sort after addition to give you maybe a single sort, then the two or more sorts you're adding or subtracting must be similar sorts. So look at here. So if I have two sorts here now, like what I have in this case now, I have here um, A root B adding to C root B, and they are similar sorts because their radicands are the same. So all you need to do is just to add the coefficient, and then when you add the coefficient, just pick one of the, you know, one of the roots. Uh, one of the radicals and that will give you your solution. The same thing is applicable for subtraction. And then, but if you are now adding the similar sorts where the radicals are different, like here we have root B and here we have root D. So there is nothing you can do here to simplify, whether it's addition or subtraction. So this becomes your final answer. And then uh, in cases where you have the similar sorts and uh, you can actually simplify one of them to, or the two of them to get maybe similar sorts, then that is also applicable. So all you need to do is to simplify and then see if you can get similar sorts and then you get your solution. Okay, so quickly we are going to look at this uh, a few examples. And so let's look at them. The first example says we should evaluate the following. The number one there, so solution. So the number one says we should evaluate 2 root 3, you know, plus 7 root 3. And so straight away, these are similar sorts. All we need to do is to add the coefficients. And so 2 plus 7 will give us 9. And then we take our root 3. And so this is just our answer. So and uh, what about the next one? So the next example there. OK, let's continue with this. So the next example there says we should simplify root 50. Sorry, we should do root 50 minus root of 18 plus the root of 32. So what do we do there? Very easy. So just like the, the thing I was explaining here, now you can see that all of these are dissimilar sorts. So but it is possible to simplify them because they are also compound sorts. So we try to reduce them to their lowest term. That's the basic sort. That's why we had to define all those types of sorts. And when we do that reduction, are we going to get similar sorts? So let's see. So if we simplify this sort here, we are going to get, this is going to give us root 25 times 2, okay? And then this is going to give us root 9 times 2. And this is going to give us root 16 times 2. Now, remember that in doing this simplification, you're always interested in getting a perfect square. And in doing that, you must get it such that the last number remaining is not reducible to another perfect square. So just like all that we have here. So at this point, now remember what I said in that class, all you need to do is, since this is a perfect square, just bring it, uh, bring out the square root of it. And the square root of 25 is 5. So we'll have 5 root 2 minus, this is going to give us 3 root 2. And then plus this will give us 4 root 2. And now we now have similar sorts. Immediately, your answer is at hand. So what do you do here? Just do your normal subtraction. What we are supposed to have here now is, um, you know, equal to, um, so we are going to add the coefficients and subtract when necessary. So 5 minus 3 is 2, plus 4 will give us 6 root 2. And that's the solution to this problem. Okay, and then the last one now. So for the last one, we have a question here. It says that assuming you have that k root 28 
you know, plus root 63 minus root 7 is equal to 0. That what value of k will do that? Okay, so it's um, also addition and subtraction you are going to apply here. So the two things we are going to do here now is first of all, we can take, uh, let's try to simplify first to see if we can get uh, similar sorts. So in doing that, we are going to have that here will now be k. Of course, this is the same thing as uh, 4 times 7. Then plus this one is the same thing as um, 9 times 7. And then this one is already in root 7 in its basic form. Okay, so the next thing we are going to have here now is um, is okay. So we are going to now bring out the perfect squares from the square root, and if we bring out from there, we have four. We are going to bring out two, and the two will multiply the k, so we will get two k. You know, square root seven is now left. And then under here, we'll have 3 will come out, root of 7, then minus root 7. And that is equal to what? Uh, 0. And so we can add up these ones that we can add, which are very clear. So what is that going to give us? 2k root 7. We know that the coefficient here is 1. And so if we say 3 minus 1, that's going to give us what? Plus 2 root 7. All is now equal to zero. So at this point, we can take this over to the other side, and that will give us 2k, you know, root 7 is equal to this coming over here will become minus root 2 root 7. And so we can divide through by 2, and that will give us k is um, root 7 is equal to minus root 7. And so at this point, by equality of sorts, since the radicands are the same, then the coefficient should also be the same. And there is an invisible one here, of course. So uh, in that case, our k is actually equal to minus 1. And that is the required solution for this problem. Okay, and uh, that's where we're going to end it for this class. Um, in our next class, we're going to look at um, the concept of... Um, rationalization of salts all right have a nice day please do subscribe to our youtube channel and also like our videos thank you